Now, a lot of people, one of their biggest reservations to having uh, pour over coffee at um, home or at the office is uh, they say it's inconvenient. Um, and on the surface, that might be the case, but I wanted to show you my, um, my pour over bar setup. Uh, great for home or for even uh, a work office environment. As long as you have the tools set up, it's just like having a stationary coffee maker, except you're gonna have a much more deep coffee experience at work, uh, bring the pleasure. So what we've got is a Zojirushi water boiler. This is just a three liter model. Uh, keeps my temperature either between 195 and 208, never boiling. Um, so that's the biggest part of having um, a home pour over system or an office pour over system is having the hot water on demand which is even great for tea or hot chocolate. In this case, let's show you how to save a little bit of money in terms of using an Airscape container and just getting your coffee uh, freshly roasted by Ojo every week. And it can be pre-ground if you don't want to afford the, um, the expense of a grinder. So that will stay very, very fresh for um, two to four weeks in a container like that. Of course, grinding fresh with a grinder is the best way, but you know this is the next best case scenario. I've got uh, all my other equipment is the Hario Gooseneck Kettle. It controls the pour, as you'll see, and the Hario uh, server, as well as just a BPA-free uh, plastic uh, Hario cone dripper, or what I call fresh drip, with your unbleached paper filter. And then, of course, a drip tray. All I'm basically going to do is take a little bit of the hot water. And what I like to do is always warm up my apparatuses. So I'll just pre-wet the filter. Now, you don't have to do this when you're in an office environment. Honestly, you can take the water, uh, dump it over the grinds, and uh, you're good to go. You'll get a decent coffee, better than any Keurig system or any uh, Cuisinart or uh, you know any typical grocery store brewer. Um, so I'll just get rid of that. Then what I like to do here is, um, is just grab my uh, Hario scoop. And if you fill this scoop uh, heaping like this, it's approximately uh, 15 grams of coffee. So I like to weigh everything at home or when I'm out uh, brewing, but you know, again, this is for demonstration, quick office environment. 15 grams of coffee, ready to go, or one scoop anyway. I'm just gonna take some of the water out. Again, I'm not measuring right now, because what I'll do is I'll use the, the little tick marks on the, um, on the side of my Hario uh, server to know where I'm gonna stop. Now, I've got 15 grams, and I know that that'll get me to on the number two on the server. That's in Japan, that's two cups, but in North America, that's one cup. So what we'll do is we'll just gently um, bloom, which means just hit a little hot water to the grinds just to let them off gas. I mean, again, I'm being picky. You don't have to be picky. You can just simply pour. And as soon as you know that your water level has reached that number two, all you have to do is pull off your, um, your cone dripper, which is why we have the uh, drip tray right beside, and you can stop your brewing. Never let the uh, grinds go down without saturating the water. Always try to keep your water level consistent until you know you're getting the, the end. I mean, with me talking and blabbing, we're at three minutes uh, and 40 seconds so far. So, <laughs> um, and I've been wasting a lot of time telling you how easy it is to brew. So, uh, in very minimal time, you can have amazing fresh drip Bojo coffee in your home or your office. See that it's approaching the, uh, the two mark there, if you can see it on your screen. I've got my drip tray nearby. I'm gonna let that finish off.